today kind of sucks because I am officially going to take the boat out of the water and what day it's like October 26th and it's pretty cold out I think it's like 40 degrees right now so uh, won't be doing any water skiing unfortunately and I will probably freeze my butt off but I am happy that I'm going to keep the boat in our building, which is just right over here too, so that I can tinker with it. I'm going to pull the yellow car and the silver car out of the building and see if I can put the boat on the lift. I'm not sure if it's too wide. Actually, I'll probably measure it first and then, you know, measure the lift and see if I can put the boat on the lift. But I think if I could put the boat on the lift and put the boat up high, then I could work on either car and still get the cars in and out. Whereas if I put the boat in, then I can't get the cars out without moving the boat which is kind of a pain in the butt. So that's what I'm gonna to try to figure out. I gotta go pick up the trailer, go to the marina, uh, dump this stable in the boat, let it run for a little bit, and then head back. Laura and I had our eight year anniversary earlier this week, so we're celebrating that today. Both kids are going to the cottage. Actually, Rob's at a birthday party right now, but uh, they're going to the cottage with her parents. So we are gonna do a date night. I think we're gonna go see like the Joker and do like Japanese hibachi, which is one of our favorites. And we have the only two kids in the world that don't like Japanese hibachi. I guess Kate might like it. Uh, the last time we went, Rob said it bothered his asthma, whatever. And Kate, uh, you know, we spent the $18 or $30 or whatever for her. And I think all she ate was like rice or something. So the last Torture Lake video that I uploaded was the last time I was on the boat. So it's, it's still, like I said, it's in the water. It's just been sitting there. It's probably filthy just from like all the gunk and stuff in the river, but I'll wash it off and stuff. And then it's gonna be in the building, which is heated. So I'll put it in there regardless. Like if, even if I can't fit it on the lift, it's still gonna go in there. Uh, and then I'll just turn the heat on in the building and then I'll winterize it one that, I don't know, at some other point. I gotta make a list of like all the projects that I wanna get done on the boat this winter. It's almost all just like clean up stuff. There's a cushion that has a split in it that I want to have repaired, a cushion that has like a mark in it that I want to have repaired, the floor that I put in, uh, it's called Miner's Moss, it's like a super nice material, but it shrank in some areas, so I'm going to recut part of it and put new material in for that, uh, the sub box that I want to rebuild, just, you know, small stuff, but in, those are all things I can do if it's in the air, it's no problem, or even if I wanted, I could lower it down and whatever, I don't know, so that's what I'm going to do. All right, got the trailer. Uh, I lied too. It's actually like 50 degrees out, not 40. So a balmy 50 degrees. If the water is at least 50, I'm going to be super bummed because water temperature plus air temperature over 100 means you could totally go skiing or wakeboarding. One of the last boats in. I'm going to uncover it real quick, uh, get it warmed up, and then dump this junk in. I just noticed there is a gross amount of like some kind of poop on there. For moments like these, I am so glad that I have the shower or like the hose thing because it's super high pressure and I can wash the poop off while it's still in the water, which should be good. Poop is mostly cleaned off the swim platform. I think it's turtles because there's like little claw marks on the platform pad, which sucks because that thing is super expensive and custom made, but whatever. Now I'm going to pop down this speaker these two speakers put the bimini away and then it should be ready to tow if you're wondering why there's only one speaker on this side it's because this clamp is loose uh and i need to i don't know what i need to do i probably should just have them welded or something i really want to replace the tower speakers but i don't want to spend the money on it so another thing to add to the winter projects list Water temperature is 48. One ounce per 10 gallon. The boat has like a quarter of a tank, so. One of the only things that sucks about this marina, actually, I might have said this in the last video, is that the launch is right there and it's private, which is awesome but they have it like blocked off. You're not supposed to walk through there. So it takes forever to walk around. But I think since they're closed right now, I could probably sneak through there. Hopefully John isn't watching and doesn't get mad.
sad day. Go see if it fits uh, on the lift. I don't have the alternator on this, but I don't. I want this one on the ground so I can work on that. First time I've driven it with the new trans cooler like this too. Silver car on top, yellow car on bottom, and boat is ready to come in. I thought I had a tape measure here in my mess of tools, but I don't. So I know that for the lift, the GL rubs on, like, it's really close on these, and the boat trailer is just a little bit wider. So I don't know. I'm going to think about that. Ultimately, I put this car on the bottom, obviously, because it's lighter, uh, and this one leaks stuff. That one doesn't. So, uh, yeah, and plus with it on the ground, I can come here and work on it without having to move the boat out without it being on the top. So now I'm going to attempt to get the boat in here and then go on day night with Laura. Boat is in, cars are in, and I don't think the door is gonna close. It's super tight. I'm just gonna leave it like that for now because I don't feel like f***ing with it. Come back tomorrow, switch the cars back around. Yeah. To elaborate on what's going on, um, basically when I measured or whatever, when I first put the trailer in and test fit it, I had the silver car on the bottom and the yellow car on the top. And the silver car is a lot shorter. So now with the yellow car on the bottom, the boat has to go all the way up to it in order to fit in. And it's like, basically it's one inch away from the car, the boat is, and the tongue is, as you saw, like, just an inch sticking out so in theory i could back the yellow car up a little bit more back the boat up a little bit more but it's 3 30 and laura and i are going to a movie at four o'clock on the other side of town so i have to run home change my clothes real quick and then we'll hit the movie so i don't want to be any more late than i am kind of frustrated because i can't work on the car either the way it is right now because it's got the boat platform is over the hood so my plan didn't work out i'll probably pull everything back out tomorrow uh, and see if I can get the boat onto the lift. That would be the number one. And then, cause then just the cars are on the ground, that's so much easier. So hopefully that works. If not, uh, my whole plan for the winter kind of sucks. So kind of bummed.